Hi there. So yesterday, Billbox released a version 3.2, and with the news of version 3.2, they also sent out a 3D platformer template. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at that template, make some minor modifications, and see what's working and what's not. We open up the 3D platformer, and we're greeted with our mind map. One of the things that we noticed right away with the version 3.2 is the update with the Billbox logo. And we have a new navigation bar, which now uses a tab system. So if you know how to use a browser, you probably do, because you're watching the video, probably in the browser, you feel at home with a new navigation bar. Whether your home is nice and clean, you just have the tabs open that you are using currently, or if your home is chaos, and you have all the tabs open that you ever used, it's still your home. Without further delays, let's go to our navigation bar and click preview, which is this button right here. Right here? Yeah, right there. Let's click on it. And when we click on it, we get our preview and we are greeted with our title screen, Adventure Run. Let's click play and here is Billbox 3D platform. Here we have a character that is made by Kenny, which is exactly the same character that we used for our FBX demo. That's nice to know that Billbox is watching our channel. Or maybe we just think alike. To navigate our player, we have our joystick controls and we have the jump. With this platform being out for not even one day, we already received a question about how to set up keyboard movements for this character. So we will jump into our player right now and switch that out. Let's dive in into 3D World and let's find our player. If we take a look at the Advanced Animated Platform Brain Box, we have all of our navigation buttons. So we have the UI button, which is connected to a jump button. Let's go take a look at that real quick. So this is the jump button in the UI. And if we take a look, there is a keyboard key here that is connected to its space. So if we keep that button in UI, we don't need to connect a separate jump button. At the top, we have the vector splitter, which receives a joystick input and gets the X and Y coordinates from it and passes to advanced 3D movement. Since we want to use a keyboard, uh, let's disconnect that and connect the keyboard instead. So X goes to X, Y goes to Z. Then we have our run button, which you can use by clicking Z. And if we click on advanced 3D movement, the setting we have for walk acceleration is 9 and the maximum speed of 10. And the run acceleration is 1. That's pretty slow. I guess are you better off walking than running? Let's switch our run acceleration so we can see a better change. And let's check the walk animation. So the speed of walk animation is 1 and the speed of run animation is 1. And since our max run speed is 1.5 times bigger than max walk speed, let's switch run animation speed to 1.5 so that our animation will be in sync. Let's go back looking at what we have after run button and we have the fallen state detected. We're not gonna go in that one. Then we have a jump button, which we already said if you keep the UI button, we don't have to connect the jump button. And after that, we have rotation camera left, which uses Q, so we can use Q and E to rotate our camera. That's all we have for our player movement. And we have some more game logic here, which this portion right here is for us killing the enemy. So when we kill an enemy, we receive a jump. And then here we have the vertical jump platform. We have a health system here and the logic for collecting stars. Okay, that was a quick look at the player setup. Now let's go and experience the changes that we just did. Play, play, play. 
We notice that the game doesn't load properly all the time. You might have to restart a couple of times to get it working properly. But after we get it working, we have our keys. Now we can use the UI button to jump or we can use our space button to jump. Okay, let's try out the rotate. So here's our camera rotation. We can look around. We can look around, we can look around, we can look around. And if you turn, you can continue playing at that angle. Now let's try using Z for running. This is our walk speed. And this is our run speed. There's not a significant change, but there is a slight change. Using Z for running is not the best choice. A shift button would be probably better, but you can't use shift, control, or alt in Buildbox games right now. So, so therefore we're stuck with a Z. We have a trigger button right there. Let's activate it. And what that does is brings up this platform. Ooh, let's step on it. Woohoo! So if we step on it, it gets us up high into the mountain. We can kill our enemies by jumping under them. Whoa! And then move the box to collect the star. Let's wait for the platform. We have horizontal platforms here. Let's get the second star. Ooh. Let's not risk dying, so let's get their star. And we won. So this is the 3D platform template that we got with Buildbox 3.2. The templates are always a good place to learn and get ideas of how to make certain things. If you're one of those who learn by example, this is a gold mine for you. So thanks to Buildbox for this template, and we hope you learn a lot from it. But before you go, a little warning about the templates. We feel that the purpose of the templates are for you to learn and have a place where you can start your game. But you have to be careful with using them. Because the templates are just templates. They're not polished game that you can use to publish. So if you use any of the templates, you have to make sure that they're optimized. So you wouldn't have performance issues with your games. Now it's time to do something fun. How about we give this player some superpowers? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Definitely a game that I would play. Hope you guys like this video. Click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.